Hello, oh brave and valiant young hero. Let's take a look at the game plan, shall we? We are in the thick of week three here on the program. It is our lower body session. Now, if you thought we'd done away with those rear fit elevated split squats, I'm afraid you'll be sorely mistaken. They have become one and a quarter reps today. Oh my goodness, is there anything worse? Yes, indeed, it is these if you've never done them before. Uh, so we're gonna be adding in that extra quarter rep at the bottom of the movement. So you're gonna come down, come up a quarter, back down and back to the top. Oh my goodness, these sting. These are gonna provide us a great new challenge with this movement. So you might wanna hold on to the same weights you did last time, okay, and just master that extra bit. You're gonna see me do that. I increased my weight last week, so I'm gonna see if I can hold on to those here for this extra challenge, uh, but I might have to adjust depending on how spicy things get. That side plank's taking a bit of an upgrade. We're elevating the feet here on top of that bench. However, if you don't have access to a bench with that split squat, you're just gonna be uh, doing a standard split squat, or if you have somewhere to elevate the foot, please do so with the side plank. If you need to stick to a regular side plank today because you don't have any way to elevate the feet, also fine, right? We can be adaptable to our environments. Next up, we're gonna be looking at the cyclist squat. Okay, so that's where we're gonna be elevating the heels. The feet are gonna be closing together and we uh, close together. We're gonna be placing more emphasis on the quads. You can elevate your heels on anything, yoga blocks, dumbbell handles, books. Okay, but if you're really a push and you don't have any way to do that, you can stick to a standard squat. That's absolutely fine. We're gonna be doing the marching shoulders elevated glute bridge, yikes. All right, this is gonna be way harder than, uh, than it looks there. Again, if you don't have any way to elevate your shoulders, you can simply perform this on the floor in a standard glute bridge position. Now, coming into the finale, Yes, we've got that all too familiar 10 minute AMRAP window. But today there's a little bit more to it. We are gonna be doing three exercises. We have got the dumbbell clean, the dumbbell front squat, and then into a down up on the floor. We're gonna be starting with five reps of each movement, but with every round, I want you to add one repetition. You're gonna see how far you can get by half time, the five minute mark. And then we're gonna turn tail and go back down the ladder in reverse order, seeing if we can get back to our starting point of five repetitions each. So this is gonna be good proof that you can manage your intensity in the first half and maintain it in the back half. We wanna achieve that exact same amount of work. So just remember that wherever you get to, for example, say you get to uh, nine cleans, nine front squats, and then you're seven reps into the down ups, you're gonna immediately stop do the seven reps again, then into the uh, nine front squats, then into the nine cleans, then back to the uh, down up. So the order is reversed. Can be a bit of a brain pickler, but you'll get the hang of it. Long story short, we're gonna be working hard uh, and we're gonna have a bit of an external goal to aim for with this AMRAP. I hope you enjoy the workout today, guys. Uh, and as ever, I'll see you in the comment section below. I can't wait to hear how it goes. Three, two, one, let's go. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one.
three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one.
three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one.
three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one.
three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one.
three, two, one. All right, and now for the big finale. We're going to spend the following 10 minutes as follows. The first five minutes, we're going to get as far as we can with that ladder. Five cleans, five front squats, five down ups, then six, 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 and so on. As soon as it hits five minutes, we're going to turn around and try and repeat the exact same thing, but in reverse order. So it's a great test of your pacing. You're going to be a bit tired, and we're going to have to work extra hard to get that second half in. Finishing with five, 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 the last thing you'll do is those five cleans, because we're going to be in reverse order. I'll see you on the other side. Three, two, one.
You're halfway home, hero. You got this. Keep that pump alive, and you're gonna win this fight. Three, two, 
one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one.